Gonzaga and St. Mary's. We are underway. Surge matched up against Mitchell Saxon and hits his first shot of the night. The top 60 nationally. St. Mary's wins. Gonzaga to create separation. Hickman to EK. We saw that. Get Hickman into the center of that paint at that logo and force that last line of the defense. One of the must haves that Randy Bennett talked about at shoot around is you got to have some composure. They need that composure. Brian Michaels going to say, hey guys, when we leave, our hands have to be up. And Nemhar did a great job defensively and almost came up with the big shot. Offensive rebound for Watson, and then he lays it in. Jackson, who's had some foul issues against Gonzaga in previous meetings. I mean, that is. I'm over there. Uh, Harry Wessels is in, and Ike goes right around him and scores. Marcellonis went right by Stromer, dishes to Jefferson, who scores with a foul. And do they call a jump ball? I can't see. The cheerleaders in the student section are blocking. Uh, we are total to find a way to win on the road. And for Mahaney, part of that job, Hickman rolls it in with a foul. What in Lexington? A terrific day of college hoops, and we finished. It was one of my better points this year, I thought. Josh Jefferson hits the jumper, and he's got a good switch on him. He's just got to go up with it. He does, and he scores. Aries has been pretty flat, and Barrett is a guy that can provide some energy and a little bit of toughness. Anton Watson's trying to communicate with him, and there's no communication. That right. left that three. Mahaney corner buries it. And that Couldn't go back up with it, so he finds Mahaney, who hits this one. <laughs> A great big time rebound by Jefferson. Now the steal. Marshallonis goes coast to coast, lays it in. Saxon isn't really getting back, and it's allowing EK to get the position he wants. Nemhar just kept the programs. And Mark Hughes has been doing it for a long time, looking to go to 25 consecutive NCAA tournaments this year. Randy Bennett, year after year, has had the Gales in consideration and in the postseason. Ben Craig back in with two fouls. Buries the three. Buries. Anton Watson working against Jefferson. That's a really good matchup. Greg got a hand on the rebound, and Watson over the top to Saxon, who was alone under the basket but was stumbling, so he gave it up. At times, his base is too narrow. It was there. Lucky. His dad was a great player, and Augustus Marcellonis is turning into a great player in his own right, but he let Nemar go right by. Bucket and a foul. Andy Bennett, very willing, typically, to play players. In foul trouble, Emhart completes the three-point play. Braden Huff in the game, Mahaney goes right by him, switch to the left hand, Saxon puts it in. Set up that board, nice touch pass, Huff scores. Mahaney dumps it down again with the left hand, so Sack. Dukas then found Jefferson, Mahaney open three. That's his third of the first half. I said, what was your Get into different locations and just try to be close enough that they can get there. Nemhard, tough shot again. Playing in the rivalry game between St. Mary's and Gonzaga. Saxon against Ike with the left. Jefferson, nice move on Ike. His confidence level. Got a 17 second difference. Hickman runner, good. Soft touch. E.K. quick start, mostly quiet since then. Greg offensive rebound and puts it back. Before he moved to Oregon. Mahaney, tough shot. For the Gales. Nebhardt shoots the three. Good! Eastern Washington. They have sold out every single... And now the Gales. Maybe a rare chance for St. Mary's to run. Mahaney trailing three. Good! How about that? That's the aid Mahaney we saw so many times last year as a freshman. EK on this end. Watson drop off of Marshallonis. Marshallonis, the spin move, got it to go. They didn't call the travel. Marshallonis. Marshallonis, the spin move, got it to go. They didn't call the travel. He's point lead Gonzaga, St. Mary's ball. Both teams were looking a little fatigued before that last timeout. Tough move. They've really just decided to let these players play. Nemhard has come to play. Too wide. He, he's just got to keep it strong underneath. This time, good balance. Already up. Mahaney's already out of bounds. A lot of times we've called big games for Aiden Mahaney, and he's primarily done his work on the outside, but tonight he's been much easier for EK to get his hands to deflect that one away. Watson, quick move to the baseline. End of the one and one. And he makes it. Earns a second. A lot of pressure free throws in that one. 
Makes them both here. Good matchup for Saxon, you figure, with the left hand, he scores off the glass. The free throws here, one on one. Tie game. Again, but you're right. Not all ways about shooting and scoring. One of two for Saxon. Mahaney draws the contact, scores. What a tournament teams are competing for first place. Jefferson three. What a shot from Josh Jefferson and Mark Few using. Taking a lot of time. Greg three. No good. He knew he missed it. Followed his own miss. And that's going to be a goal set. It as well. Wow. And Randy Bennett is beside himself. Comes over the top. He grabs the rim right there. Okay, that is a goal tent. No problem. Free throw. No good. And Mitchell Saxon tracks down the Haney on Ike. Ike did a good job, but he dumps it down to Saxon. The ball. Yeah. All the and we'll see if that's on Ike. They called that one. That one wasn't close. I mean, he missed that to the side. Nembhard just continuing to attack. Ball swatted out of bounds. Wow. I thought that one was off. Mahaney tries to save it. Does. Marcellonis, three. Good! They're going to review it with the shot clock expiring and all season long. A 30% of Haney was out of bounds. First of all, that's a kick ball. Should have been called. Second one is this. He's out of bounds. And we've got people throwing stuff onto the floor. And, and this is going to oh, result man. in a technical. There's trash. Every Nickman, Mahaney, more good defense by him. Anton Watson elevates for the three. Got it. If they take the clock all the way down, Mahaney stops. Mahaney shoots, no good. And a foul on the floor against Gonzaga. Now they just called a shot clock violation. Oh, wow. They called a foul, now they're reversing it to a shot. This is, uh, it's almost like they're just kind of making it up on the fly. Well, look, it is a shot clock I, violation. I think it was the right call. He made it. Obviously, you don't foul. Miss free throw. Court. Hickman will heave it up. No good. Watson puts it in. Count that basket. It's not going to matter in the ultimate result. St. Mary's on the road inside the kennel. Gets a win. And more stuff coming on the court.